Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the design of a resistive load inverter. We have been given the value of VDD equal to 5 volts. We have been also given the value of Kn equal to 30 microampere by volt square. Threshold voltage is 1 volt. And VOL equal to 0.2 volts. And we have to find the W by L ratio of my driver transistor. Driver is nothing but my NMOS. And the value of load resistance that can achieve the required VOL. Now we know that VOL is nothing but output low, which means input high as good as VDD. That means my input is greater than my threshold voltage, so my transistor is on. You have seen in the previous clip that when you have to find VOL, my driver transistor or my NMOS transistor operates in the linear region. If you want to quickly see it once again, just let's recap it in a minute. To identify whether the transistor is operating in linear or not, we write the equation VDS dash VGS minus VTN. VDS, this is drain, this is source, it's nothing but my V out. VGS is nothing but my V in minus threshold voltage. This is capital T, mind you. Now, we know that output is low, input is high, and it's going to be a less than sign. So this clearly shows that the current of the transistor is nothing but the current flowing in the linear region. Now let's quickly equate the equations of the current in the linear region to the current flowing across the resistor. That's nothing but VDD minus V out. V out in this case is nothing but VOL upon RL equal to KN dash by 2. We know that KN is equal to KN dash W by L. So we'll write KN dash because that value has been given to us. W by L twice VGS. VGS in this case is nothing but V in, which is nothing but VDD. We have just seen that minus threshold voltage into V out, nothing but VDS minus V out square. And because we are finding VOL, this V out is nothing but VOL. This is the equation. Let's substitute the values. VDD is given as 5 volts. VOL is given as 0.2 volts. RL is nothing but we are going to find K and dash is given as 30 microamperes. W by L is something what we are going to find twice into 5 minus 1. VDD is 5 and threshold voltage is 1 that is 4. VOL is 0.2 minus 0.2 the whole square. This is nothing but if you rewrite the equation by solving the mathematics you get W by L into RL equal to 2.05 into 10 raised to 5 ohms. Now what we can do is we can substitute different values of the load resistance RL or we can substitute the different values of W by L and correspondingly find the value of the load resistance RL. Let's put the different values of W by L ranging from 1 to 6 and see the corresponding value of RL. Before we do that, we should also understand that average DC power dissipation for a resistive load inverter is given by VDD by 2 into VDD minus VOL by RL. You have already seen this in the previous clips, which says that my power dissipation is inversely proportional to my load resistance. So if you see here on the table, when my W by L ratio is 1, we just saw that W by L into RL was nothing but 2.05 into 10 raised to 5 ohms. So if I substitute W by L as 1 to 6, this are the corresponding values of RL which I will get. And this is the corresponding value of the DC power dissipation which I will get by substituting. This clearly shows that my power dissipation keeps on increasing if my load resistor keeps on decreasing. And load resistance and W by L are the ones which will determine the area of my circuit. So this is nothing but a trade-off. Trade-off means if you are trying to improve one parameter, the other parameter goes for a toss. So here is a trade-off. In order to avoid increasing the area of your circuit, you are paying the price of power. In order to reduce the power, you are trying to pay the price of an extra area. So a designer has to choose how he wants his actual design to be. So this is one of the classic example of a trade-off in a resistive load inverter. Hope you have followed. Stay tuned for further clips. Thank you.